Yo, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, how y'all doing, how y'all doing? Yes, it's Monday. Normally, I would do Talk About It Tuesday, What's hap- what, what about it Wednesday, Thought About It Thursday, Fuck Friday. It's Monday. So what am I going to do on Monday? Well, I'm going to talk about it on Monday because I got a whole lot of stuff to do. So I figured I would get it out the way. Hey, y'all doing on a Monday? And it ain't even getting it out the way. It's sharing it on a Monday because it's time to get it shared on this Monday. So come on in. Join me. Join me. Join me. What's happening? How y'all doing? All my unicorn sisters out there. What's what's flying with y'all? Right? So, yeah, so instead of talking about a Tuesday, I'm doing this on a Monday. Let's see if y'all notifications go off. Y'all can catch me right quick because I'm doing this on IG. I was going to do it on both, but I ain't got time like that. I got something else that's about to start in a few minutes, and I'm so excited about that. But I wanted to make sure I got this out because my week is about to be busy, y'all. So if you don't know, now you know. Your girl's going to be at the camp, the Conscious Canvas Kickback Saturday. 9 p.m. You better make sure you get on Eventbrite and get your tickets. If you don't know, check the link in my bio. It's up in my link tree. So get with it, y'all. But yeah, so this is what I'm doing out here. I'm out here. I'm just on here telling y'all what's good. So I'm going to wait for a few folks to come on in. Come on in, letting folk know that, hey, I am live. What's happening with y'all? And I hope y'all ain't got to be bouncing back and forth through everybody's live and stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, but I wanted to say what's up and I got some vocab words for y'all. I wanted to share some wisdom, some words of wisdom with y'all. Let y'all know that your girl is out here and she live right now. Yes. So share it, like it, love it. So if you already don't know, go ahead and check your notification bell up in the top. Let them know. So you can know every time I'm live. Cause I don't want you to miss this. Don't be missing my valuable gems. Okay. <laughs> don't be missing them y'all. All right. So yeah. I'm going to wait for a few more folks to come on in here. Come on in here. What's happening with y'all? How y'all doing? What's up with y'all? Monday. Normally, I'd be like, all right, it's Monday, y'all. When I was, you know, in my profession, and I'm still in it, but when I was working for somebody else, I used to be like, all right, it's Messy Monday. So after the weekend hit, let's see what's happening on the caseloads on Monday. So yeah, I'm so social work 17 years. So by Monday, it's Messy Monday. It's time to clean up. So today, I came with some Messy Monday words for y'all. Some stuff that we really need to work on. Some stuff that we really need to get on out here. And like I said, I just wanted y'all to know I'm live. I'm out here. I'm chilling. I'm doing what I do. But I wanted to share this information with y'all for real on a Messy Monday. Because it is what it was. And I'm real busy this week. I told you I'm doing the Conscious Canvas Kit back on Saturday. I got trainings coming up. Y'all don't even need to know what I do in my other life, but I do national trainings. So I got stuff going on, but moving forward, moving forward, forget all of that part, right? Forget that part. How about, how about right now, right now, right now? Yes, right now. Your girl's live right now. So how about let's get into it? So I got a couple words I wanted to share with y'all because normally I do talk about a Tuesday, but it's Monday. And I know normally I do my lukewarm fitness and y'all be like, where's she at? Why is she around for the hour of 10? Listen, I'm around. I bees around. I bees in a trap. Be bees in a trap. All right, y'all. So, yeah, let's see if folk need to know if I'm live. Y'all need to know if I'm live or not. Everybody know if I'm live or not. I'm live. Hey, y'all. What's happening? How y'all doing? What's cracking? What's up? What's up? All right. So, yeah. I don't even know how else to go about this, right? <laughs> All right, so Messy Monday. Let's get into Messy Monday, y'all. So let your peoples know, let everybody know your girls is live right now with the Messy Monday. Messy Monday. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. All right, so Messy Monday. I wanted to talk about some truth. Because we've been saying it a lot. Everybody wants you to be honest with them. They want the truth. Well, the truth is... Truth is, right, trusting reasonable understanding through hope. Yes, trusting reasonable understanding through hope. And you know I done already dropped truth on y'all once before. I done already dropped truth on y'all once before, (laughs) right? So here's another version of the truth. Because what you can do is trusting reasonable understanding through hope. Now, what does hope mean? What what does hope mean? What does hope got to do with all of that? So hope is honoring original possible experiences. It's that simple. 
honoring original possible experiences. When you are out here hoping for the best, you really are honoring the thought that something different is going to happen. It's only unique and original to you. And it's going to be positive. You're going to love it in the best way you possibly can. Honoring original, you heard me, original (laughs) possible experiences. That's hope. Now, in order to have hope, in order to get to that truth that everybody is seeking, you might need some help. (laughs) You might need some help getting there. You might really need some help. And I wanted to go forward on the help portion because I really wanted to tell you how help comes from unexpected places. You might be watching this video right now. You wouldn't like, for real, this chick was BS in the whole first half. You're right, I was. Because I wanted people to come in on in and join us and join us, right? But when I get to this word help, it might actually get you where you need to be. It might be from this unexpected place. So help is honoring expectations, learning possibilities. And when I say honoring expectations, that means that's, Letting yourself know that you are expecting a higher level. You were expecting a higher level. And because you didn't get that higher level either from yourself, from those around you, you need some help. So you got to honor those higher level expectations. You got to honor those learning possibilities. That's help. So honoring expectations, learning possibilities. You got to, that's help. Is help and it comes from unexpected places, y'all. Unexpected, okay. So when you fail, because I wanted look, I got a couple of words. I'm just dropping, boom, 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 boom. So when you fail, when you fail, you are fabricating awesome internal lies. There's no such thing as real failure. There really isn't. There was a such thing as a lived experience. There's a such thing as learning how to do it right. As a matter of fact, I think it was um I think it was um Albert Einstein that stated, I have 999 successes, not fails. That means I, I created the light bulb one time out of a thousand, but I have 999 successes. That means he attempted 999 times to salute one problem and found 999 other solutions. He did not fail, but he found 999 other solutions. Y'all feeling me? Y'all with me? Y'all with me? I hope y'all with me because this is quick. I wasn't even going to be here long. This is going to be quick (laughs) with the fail, okay? So fabricating awesome internal lies. Do not explain to yourself that you can't do something because of your finances. You can't do something because you're not educated high enough. Don't give yourself those awesome internal lies. You are not failing as of yet. You have not failed at all. As a matter of fact, failing is improbable because I already told you in a fail, you find a success. You found out how to do it or not because not everything is meant to do. How about that? So you can't fail at something that wasn't supposed to exist. I'm just Thoughts, just my thoughts right here, share them with you. So facts, (laughs) because we always be like facts, facts, 100% facts. So facts, that is facilitating accounts changing truth. Yes, facilitating accounts changing truth. That is facts. That's facts right there, facts. I ain't say with the S. So fact (laughs) is facilitating accounts changing truth. What you are doing is you are changing your reasonable understanding through hope. You are changing your trust in the individual because at the end of the day, everybody be like, well, I can't trust that person because I don't know him. Duh, 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 duh. Well, the truth is that until you give yourself a reasonable understanding of that individual, you're never going to have the truth from them. You're never going to get the trust that you're talking about, which means you're never going to be able to get to the fact. So at the end of the day, what you want to do is facilitate accounts changing truth. You want to make sure that your facts support your ideas. You want to be able to broaden your scope. You want to be able to tell people that you are out here learning your life for real. You're not just experiencing it. You're not just out here making judgments on people. And judgment is my last word because I told you I had other stuff to do. And boom, I did this in like 10 minutes, y'all. Like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, dropped it. Boom, 10 minutes on you. Fastest live ever. All right, so judgment, right? 
So judgment. What is judgment? What did Trish come up with judgment? I came up with judgment, y'all. Judgment. Jumping under depression, genuine exploitation, marketing experience, negative thoughts. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, 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 love. Welcome, welcome. Listen, I was out here dropping all types of gems real quick. (laughs) All types of gems. So judgment. When you out here with your judgment, welcome to this live. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Let everybody know I'm out here. When you get to the judgment, right, you are jumping under depression, genuine exploitation, marketing, experiencing negative thoughts. So I want you to think about judgment for a second, second, five, 15 minutes, however long you need to think about your judgment. But I really want to hit this point home real quick because I have been having this conversation a lot with a lot of my girlfriends, with a lot of my unicorn sisters about judgment and how we view ourselves and how it doesn't measure up to the view of other people and how we view other people. So I had to correct a few judgments along this past weekend. And one of the judgments is, is it's warm outside, people outside wearing stuff we feel as though they shouldn't wear. Well, at the end of the day, I had to correct the thought process on how we would feel that they shouldn't wear what they're wearing. If I feel like I want to be outside in my two-piece outfit, who am I to tell someone else that they shouldn't be outside in their two-piece outfit when they feel like it? When you think about how we judge other people, which is jumping under depression, genuine exploitation, that's judge. When we get to that judging of other people, what we are doing is we are hiding our own true feelings. It has nothing to do with the fact that that person is wearing it. It has everything to do with that at the time we would want to be wearing it ourselves. We have to own up to that judgment truth. We have to put ourselves in a position to where we're understanding the exploitation of negative thoughts. We are marketing to ourselves. You That's why I put those words the way I put them. When you jump under depression, <laughs> here we go. Genuine exploitation, marketing experience, negative thoughts. All I did when I placed judgment on someone. Yes. Thank you. Cause talking about it is how we going to get through it. Cause we got to talk about it more often with more people than none. I'm just saying. <laughs> We need to have these conversations amongst ourselves. We need to have these conversations with our spouse because you're absolute our spouses, you're absolutely right. If we don't understand where our judgment is coming from, like our own personal moral code, we will not understand how to move forward into our own spiritual ascensions as well as get to the opportunities that are awaiting for us that we keep asking for. Sometimes your judgment of yourself prohibits your ability to move so if you one of those people who's like oh it's 80 degrees and they out here in booty shorts no i'm gonna be in my bermuda shorts with my full coverage tank top knowing you want to be a model you ain't doing yourself no favors hating on the chick who's outside in her booty shorts and going to work with your attitude That attitude that you just took to work about homegirl in her booty shorts may have just stopped you from getting that promotion. Maybe you should have just owned up and after 4 p.m. you rocking your booty shorts too. How about that? (laughs) How about that? And you right, it's the society though. But that's how they got us brainwashed. They got us brainwashed where we're supposed to think was good for the goose is not good for the gander. And that rule applies to everything. And we are supposed to tell ourselves only certain people can do certain things. When in all actuality, we can do everything everybody else is doing. The only thing we need to do is believe in the fact that we can fucking do it. And let me go back to the facts. Okay, because I had I got acronyms for fact real quick. I told you I wasn't gonna be too long because I got shit to do. But acronym for fact is facilitating accounts changing truth. Exactly. That's exactly why we behind because we allowing ourselves to think that we can stay there. That's why I do these vocab days. And unfortunately, I got shit to do on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I will not be able to get all of this in. So today is the day for it. So I'm talking about it. Thank you, sis, for the encouragement because I'm going to keep talking. Keep talking this shit, right? So facts. We want to facilitate accounts changing truth. That is what facts are. 
So when we say facts, I want to be clear. Every book you've ever picked up was an account that was given or from a person. So if you think about facts as a person, you can facilitate every account and change your truth daily. Fact. Fact. So if you feel like you can't be outside in your booty shorts, I'm going to need you to go buy them booty shorts, sis. And I'm going to need you to put them the fuck on. And then at the end of the day, you was outside. And even if you was just on your porch like I was and went back the fuck in, <laughs> you fact was you was outside in booty shorts. Can't nobody change it. It's irrefutable. You facilitated your own account changing your own truth. And let me go back because I revised truth. I up, up the ante for y'all. So if you saw my truth is video, I'm trying to tell you I up the ante for you on truth. So truth is trusting, reasonable, understanding through hope. It's trusting, reasonable, understanding through hope. So big fucking fact. Yes, thank you. Big fucking fact, okay? When you change your truth, when you trust reasonable understanding through hope, you can live your life the way the fuck it was meant to be lived by you. And ain't nobody going to dictate to you how the fuck you going to live it, what you going to say and how you going to go about it. You can do your unicorn socks. You can wear your headbands. You can rock your shiny socks and fedora if you want to. At the end of the day, if you decide to change your truth, which I encourage you to do using the word facts, you can live your life however the fuck you want it. So that judgment ain't going to be there. You ain't going to be worried about jumping under depression, genuine exploitation, marketing experience, neg negative thoughts. You ain't going to be doing none of that. You ain't going to have room for judgment in your life. As a matter of fact, you will now start to stop giving yourself a no judgment zone. At this point, however the fuck you show up is what you got. How about that? You no longer have to give yourself a disclaimer. Oh, yes. I, I'm trying to tell you, I'm everybody's god mom. I got like seven god kids and five of them are boys. So, you know, I goes harder to paint real quick. I got, mm -mm. we ain't going to walk around the mulberry bush. We're going to chop that bitch down and go straight through. I ain't got time. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. So, all right, y'all. Real quick, because I want to wrap this up. Because help. Some of y'all need help out here, and that's okay. Let me tell you what help is. Help is honoring expectations, learning possibilities, and it comes from unexpected places. Yes, yes, no lies at this table, sis. Yes, yes, I'm trying to tell you. Because corporate America, you absolutely right. Corporate America will tell you that help is something you don't fucking need. Help is something that you need to get rid of. Let me tell you, honoring expectations, learning possibilities. That means when I know that a situation should be way better than what it is, I need to recognize that it was supposed to be better than what it is. And then when people say, hey, can I help you do that? I need to allow them to assist me in getting it better than what it is. And if they can't assist me in getting it better than what it is, you heard me. You ain't offering me no help. Because help is honoring expectations, learning possibilities. What you're not going to do is tell me how fucked up this event is. What you are going to do is say, sis, I understand we in a fucked up position. This is how we're going to get it better. That's genuine help. What we out here doing amongst our people, we need to stop that extra shit. Fuck that, oh, I gave you $5 and you owe me 10 No, fuck out of here. That is not help. What we need to do is honor those expectations. Let people know, I understand that your shit didn't pop off the way you wanted it to. This is what else we can do to assist you to make it better the next time. This is what else we can do to make it run smooth today. How about that? And fuck the event. Let's talk about work. When you at work and you need help from a coworker, not sis cover my shift entirely, but nah, you see that I'm struggling. You see I'm having a bad time with this client. You see I'm having a bad time with this customer. Come on over and let me know that this is just one day out of my shift. Honor my expectations. Help me understand that I came here for a fucking paycheck. I didn't come here for charges. I didn't come here to fight this bitch in the face and leave in handcuffs. I came here to get my paycheck. Help me to remember that shit, sis. 
Offer that assistance, absolutely. Don't be like, oh, well, if you don't like your job, you can quit. We all fucking know I could have quit, but I still need the fucking paycheck. Help me honor that expectation. Help me set a deadline to fucking quit then. Help me get that other job. As a matter of fact, I don't know how many times somebody has said this shit to me in my social work profession. This is why I don't work for nobody. I work for myself. At the end of the day, in 17 years working in nonprofit organizations, I've heard well over 50 times, if you don't like it here, you can leave. Well, guess what? Every time you offered me the opportunity, I fucking left. And when I left, I also left making five more dollars an hour because someone else was there. Someone else was there and I'm passing this shit along. There was another sister, another upbringing that was there that was like, hey, yo, I understand that you ain't happy right now. But before you go ahead and check out today, why don't you go look into this other position that's paying $10 more and check out in a month? Why don't you do that? Why are we not encouraging our youth? To do those things. I'm not saying that everybody need to leave corporate America. I'm not saying you would need to leave your nine to five. What I'm saying is, is offer me real fucking help. Give, honor my expectations. Help me learn other possibilities to solve my problem. Don't just tell me that there's a quick fix. There's a solution for my shit. Cause there really isn't all the time. Because if I quit my job, sis, sometimes your house ain't available for me to eat at. So don't be on some fuck shit on your help. When you helping people literally honor their expectations and help them learn other possibilities. Listen to what people are saying. Yeah, I might hate my job today, but because somebody at my house was acting a fucking fool and before I can even get out the door, my day was fucked up. How about we do something like encouragement? Since I understand that you came in the door with a chip on your shoulder. Let me remind you that this is just a paycheck, sis. Yes. Crabs in a barrel. You right. You right. But let me tell you, that's not what I'm out here to help y'all with. Fuck out of here. The facts. <laughs> right? Facts. We're facilitating accounts, changing the truth. At the end of the day, if you got somebody who's not offering help to you, like real ass help, I just told you what it looked like. If they ain't offering real ass help, they can leave. Because when I get to hope, this is where we at. This is my last word, hope. <laughs> You want to honor original possible experiences. When I'm hoping for a better job, real talk, I want somebody to tell me that that shit is possible. I want you to honor other possible experiences. Don't hate on my shit and be like, well, you know, we live in a small town and this is all you can get. Don't do some dumb shit like that to me. Don't be like, oh, well, you ain't go to school for another two years for that master's degree. So I mean... You know, don't do that fuck shit to me. Give me some real assistance. Help a sister out. Really just give me that hope. Be like, you know what? I understand you want another job. As a matter of fact, you might want another job, but maybe we should look at relocating you, sis. Maybe we need to look at getting you on a Section 8 program that you can sit there for a year and then you can move somewhere else within the nation. Maybe we need to look at possibly just uprooting you and having you move into another area as a homeless population so you can get in on our low-income housing so you can get to the opportunity that you want. Maybe we need to have those real conversations. If I have a business that's failing in my area, like real talk, let's talk to my entrepreneurs too. Because I'm keeping watching my time. I got shit to do, y'all. But real talk, let's talk to my entrepreneurs too. If you have a business that's failing in your area, please do yourself a favor and look at my words. Look at what I just told you. Look at what your truth is. Look at trusting your reasonable understanding through hope. Look at your hope honoring original possible experiences let yourself be reminded that this is not it you are still very much living life and living life is experiencing hardship to new shit you heard me experiencing hardship to new shit <laughs> you gotta go through some rough patches you gotta feel like you lost everything you could possibly lose to realize that you had way more to gain and you would be a lot happier without the shit you lost if you ain't never heard me say it before i'm gonna tell you now this is a tricism. once you lost your shit leave it gone leave it gone because it wasn't no good for you it's that simple the universe gives you you absolutely right 
They don't want you to have op- you absolutely right. They don't want you to have the opportunity to have this. This is why I did this on IG today. Normally I do both, but I ain't have time. So I'll possibly upload this to YouTube. If you don't know about my YouTube channel, the CWC Education Station. If you don't know about my um Etsy shop, it's Shade Du Jour, S-H-E-A-D-U-J-O-U-R or Etsy. And yes, don't be a hoe. Don't hold on to everything. Thank you, Mika. I was waiting. I was waiting. Cause I'm telling you. At the end of the day, my acronyms really aren't for just entertainment purposes. My acronyms really are to help to foster that thought process, to give you that stable belief in self for you to make those moves that you need to make in your life. Some of it, yes, is encouraging you to get the fuck out of the life that you in. And I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you to get the fuck out of the life that you in, but it's going to kill you and understand that you can get the fuck out of it. There ain't nothing better than having hope. There ain't nothing better than getting help. There ain't nothing better than releasing your judgment. Let that shit go. Don't be jumping under depression. Let it go. I'm Yes. Thank you, Meek. I'm happy it helped you because I'm telling you, holding on to everything is not going to work <laughs> for nobody. If you hold on to the experience from fifth grade, I'm telling you, the bitch who was with you don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, you just spent 20 years worth of energy on what? On what? That bitch don't care no more, so why do you? Let it go. As a matter of fact, the supervisor that just disrespected you probably about 15 minutes ago before you got off your shift does not give a fuck. Why are you going home giving two fucks about it either? They came to get their check. They ain't like your attitude because you, you. You ain't like they attitude because they, them. At the end of the day, fuck it and keep it moving. You came for a check. Let that bitch add up and move out. Why ain't we focused on the moving out part? Why are we out here trying to keep jobs that we don't fucking want for 20 plus years? Let that shit ride. There is too much opportunity for you to be who you want. Yes. 30 years of harboring some shit because of others' judgment. You absolutely right. I kid you not. I just got to a point where I thought I'm I'm in the slim thick club. I didn't even fucking know I got here until I took an opportunity to look at my judgment. I kid you not. I didn't even know I got here. So this is some real talk, real shit. When you start to lose weight, As a big girl, like, I've been big all my life. Like, below 150 pounds was not some shit that happened after the age of 10. I'm going to be 110 with y'all. I don't even post the fucking pictures. After I hit 10, I was never less than 150 pounds in my entire life. To go through my entire life being told that I can't cheerlead, being told that I can't run track, being told that I can't play soccer, I can't play softball, I can't do volleyball, I couldn't do none of the slim girl none of the slim girl fucking athletics i kid you not i purpose my entire fucking life to prove everybody wrong based off of these acronyms based off of this fire based off of this fact of knowing that i could change my life i was on the motherfucking track team fuck the cheerleading squad i did the pom-pom team yes i still danced and i got suspended at three games for flicking off everybody i was the fat bitch who was breaking it down and i gave them the fu and i got suspended for three games what I was willing to break all of the fucking rules to prove the point that I deserve to be there. Not the fat girl, that I deserve to be there. And at the end of the day, these acronyms is proving just that point for everybody else. You deserve to be in your life. You deserve to live your experience. You deserve to have your shit. Don't let nobody stand in the way of that. Don't let nobody change your truth. Don't let nobody tell you your facts. Don't let nobody pass you your judgment. Fuck out of here. Nope, it's mine. How did I get to this point? I was beat to the lowest of the low. I was told that I talked too much. I was too abrasive. I was too knowledgeable for my own good. Who the fuck says that to a person? It's been said to me. And every time it was said to me, I went into a place and it was so deep and so dark. And it made me think of how bad of a person I was for being who the fuck I was. And then one day I woke up and said, you see this aura around me? (laughs) 
People keep gravitating for my knowledge. I obviously can't be that much of a know-it-all if people want to know what I know. Right? <laughs> I can't be that abrasive of a person if people keep walking up and telling me their life story for me to assist them. I can't be that bad at doing my job if I keep working with the most difficult fucking clients. <sighs> If I'm not all of these things, then how the fuck did I manage to accept this judgment? I can't keep it. So let me go ahead and go back real quick for y'all because I'm about to get on off of here because I got shit to do. <laughs> I got shit to do in five minutes, y'all. All right, so judgment. Jumping under depression, genuine exploitation, marketing experience, negative thoughts. The way I put that together is exactly what I just said in my story just now i was marketing myself that it was bad to know everything i was marketing to myself that i couldn't fit the other clothes that people were wearing i was marketing to myself that i shouldn't participate in the activities that people said i shouldn't participate in until i really looked at that judgment and found out that shit did not come from me because i am the bomb i know too goddamn much and a bitch did track cheerleading pom-pom team and volleyball one fucking trophy okay i did that shit so if i did that shit that's irrefutable fact therefore this judgment cannot exist turn the page get your notebook so fact facilitating accounts changing truth period period i facilitated my accounts changing my truth i just told you that those are facts irrefutable you can't change anything about what actually happened the shit's in my yearbook there's pictures it was a whole statewide conference i was at the shit happened okay it was a fact it happened so moving forward you live your life like you can change your fucking facts it's that simple when you fail you need to look at failure because failure is never a real option. You can't fail. You're fabricating awesome internal lies. You are reminding yourself of some shit that does not line up with your own belief. I did never, I never believed that I was too big to ride a roller coaster, but a bitch rode every roller coaster I could get on. Quit playing with me. I never believed I was too big to slam a ball. I slammed every fucking ball at those volleyball games. Yes, I did. I never believed that I was too big to dance for a basketball team. I was on the fucking pom-pom team. Got suspended for three games, but I was on that bitch. Quit playing. <laughs> Why did I believe all of these things? It came down to my own hope. It came down to honoring original possible experiences, reminding myself that if I did not live my life, no one else was going to do it for me. I would not be able to go back and tell the story of my accomplishments. I would not be able to spit out my facts. I would not be able to tell my truth. And my truth is trusting reasonable understanding through hope. So I lived that life and I'm still very much living it. At the end of the day, this will be a multi-billion dollar corporation. I don't fucking know how yet, but it's going to goddamn work because I said it. <laughs> it's going to do that. Why is it going to do that? Because I got hope. I'm honoring other, I'm sorry, I'm honoring original possible experiences. Simple. Simple. So you got fact, you got fail, you got hope, you got truth, and you got judgment. Don't be out here acting like a hoe. Mika already told you, don't act like a hoe. Don't be holding on to everything. All right, y'all. Got shit to do. I'll be seeing y'all.